Howdy folks and welcome to this special episode of Arc Aberration Adventures. I want to show you guys how to get tree sap in aberration. Uh, if you have an industrial cooker, of course, and you've wanted to make, as I currently want to make, some of this new stuff that allows your animals to be protected from radiation, it requires sap, as you see down there in the instructions. And of course you wonder, well, where can I get sap? Well, I am here on this map. I'll give you coordinates as well. Uh, if I can bring up my GPS. I'm sorry about that. There we go. I have it off the hotbar and the map. And I am at 33.251.8. That's where my base is uh, on an aberration. It's pretty close to, not the center, but north center. And we've got around us these big trees that kind of look like the redwoods. You can't cut them down, but you cannot place platforms on them. So when I first ran up to them with some taps, and I was trying to place the taps, I couldn't get anywhere to snap. I couldn't see anywhere to snap the taps. And the reason is you have to snap the taps pretty high. So luckily, I've got one of those in the back back here. And I built up a little ramp to a kind of a homemade uh, S-plus platform. And I've put some uh, taps here. These are S-plus taps, but any tree sap taps, I believe, will work up here as well. And if you do this without S-plus, you're going to just need a lot of pillar support to get around these trees, probably. Um, but these things I just put in, and here enough, sure enough, I'm starting to get some sap from these guys. Uh, so they are located in that location. Uh, any of these trees will do. And there's probably another uh, tree sap hookup higher up, as there are in the normal redwoods in normal arc. Um, but that'll give you the sap you need, so thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.